Hey kids, welcome to lesson eight, Boolean expressions and if statements, number seven. You try it, adding else to the password checker. If we add an else clause to the password checker, we can make it act a little fancier. Study the animation at the right. We're going to add an if else statement to the login button event handler that will show the unlock and display access granted if the user enters the password correctly. Otherwise, show the lock and display access denied. Note the setup. Again, we have two images, a lock and an unlock. Both this time, both are hidden at the start. There is also a text label at the bottom where we'll display a message, but it starts empty as well. There are two event handlers here. The first event handler on login button click is where you should add your if else statement. That's a pretty big clue right there. We've provided the statements you need to add in the appropriate clause. Well, thank you very much. The second event handler on password input click acts as a reset. You do not need to modify anything in this event handler. It simply hides all images and sets the message to blank. There is also a hint down here, but let's see if we can figure this out first before we look at it. Going back to our example here, it looks like they have a password, which is CS rocks with an exclamation point. It starts blank. And they're typing in secret login. That doesn't look like the word and it gets denied. Hit the reset. Everything clears. Right password gets the green padlock. Looks pretty straightforward to me. Let's go ahead and look at the code here. We have our first on event right here. This is the login button. That is that button right there. And on a click, something is going to happen. And it says, hey, add your if else statement here. So I assume that's what we're going to add. We are also setting the text for access label. This is access label down here. And that's saying access granted. And then we show a green lock. And then we have some more text on access label. And it says access denied. And then show element a red image. So it looks like that's where if and else is going to contain. Down here it says you don't have to modify any of this code below. This looks like it just hides the images. Hide element red and green at the start. And then this makes the text fields blank. Looks pretty fun. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing we need to do is add a if or else statement. If or else statement is right here. I'm going to drag this in right underneath the text. And let's put some text inside here. Now, one thing I want you to remember is these braces open and close. So do not copy these braces in when you do that. So be careful what you are moving around. I'm going to do the set text, access label, access granted. And then in the else, I'm going to say access denied. Uh, my else statement down here closes with the brace. And again, we don't have to do anything down here. This is saying they expected an identifier. Instead, they saw a parentheses. We're going to take care of that in a minute. Hmm. Well, we have to add something to our if statement. We have to tell it what we want to do. If this happens, then do this. Else, this does this. And really the first thing we have to do is we have to figure out what the person is putting in here. I think a get text would work very nice here. I'm going to drag my get text over here. And this get text, we want the ID to be this right here, which is password input. So I'm just going to copy that here. And under the ID, I'm going to paste it in. I am not done yet though. I really need to set what that is going to be. What is the password? Well, we want it to equal something, right? And we have our equality operator here we can drag in. So what do I want it to be equal to? 
Their example has CS rocks. I think uh, we should use something just a little different and let's just put no row for our school. We have a little part right here that says, hey, no row hasn't been declared. What's well, saying it's declared because I'm treating this like a variable. What did I forget from one of our first lessons? My quotes. So now it is our quotes here. We are setting our password input equal only to no row. This exactly here. Anything else that's inputted should get this red lock. Let's go ahead and see if our hypothesis is right. I'm going to hit run. First one I'm going to put is no row. Spell just like that. Login green. That one's the easy one. Let's run this again and try something else. Roads rocks. Login access denied. It looks like first I do not rock, which is sad. And second, that my code worked exactly like I wanted it to. We got the text from the user. We compared it against the word we wanted. And if they got it right, we had a set of commands. And if they got it wrong, we had a separate set of commands. Looking back up here, we added our if else statement to the login button. It shows the unlock and displays access granted if they enter the right password. Otherwise, it did display access denied. I think that's all code.org wanted from us. Let's see if they want anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I will see you on the next lesson.